Okay, YouTube, by the looks of the title, this video is going to be me talking about how I met Cole Bennett and what we talked about. And if you don't know who Cole Bennett is, then you're lost. Yo, I'm just playing, but Cole Bennett is this guy who runs a multimedia company. It's called Lyrical Lemonade. I think he's 22 years old. He started making, like, the first YouTube videos for Famous Dex, um, Little Uzi, and just artists like that. And he basically propelled himself off of their hype into making a multimedia company. It sells lemonade now. This shit just dropped like yesterday. I got it at Complex Condo. He's selling merch, bro. He's cashing out right now and he's doing it big and he's a big inspiration. Okay guys, so let's get into it. So I went to Complex Con last week. If you don't already follow my page, you would have already known that, but I went there just to really try to meet legends, like really try to meet people I look up to. It was like a networking opportunity. I'd spent a lot of money while I was there, but boom, I'm at Complex Con the first day. I'm at Complex Con, it's fucking lit. I'm seeing supporters like every 30 minutes. Some of them have our chains on and stuff. Like I was just, I'm buying expensive shit. I'm drinking a little bit. We get, we get lit a little bit, bro. And we're just feeling it. Boom, I go to my friend's booth, Sam, who owns Half Evil. And then, um, boom, I spend like two hours with him, talking to him and the homies. They all own Instagram brands. They're all killing it. It was fun, whatever. And then, bro, like, it's coming to the end of the day. I was about to go home. I was up since 6, now it's like 7 p.m. And I'm just saying goodbye to the homies. I'm at Sam's booth, remember, I'm at Half People's booth. Sam is super well connected with everybody, like everybody, like in the industry. I literally just like turn around. I'm talking to a supporter right now. I literally turn around and I just see Cole Bennett talking to somebody over there. And I'm thinking like, cause I spent an hour in his line and he was there, but I didn't want to like go like, everyone was like fucking hit a crowd around him. Like they're all trying to give him like a, a Sharpie to sign their stuff. So I was like, damn, like, and then I kind of regretted it right after of not just fucking, I could have cut in line, gone and done that. Even got a picture with him would have been dope. But anyways, I turn around, I see him and I'm like, I'm just thinking like, yo, what the fuck? And then I was just like admiring. I was like, yo, like this is what the homie looks like in real life. Like this is like what the homie like, he was just smiling all the time. And I was like, God damn, this is so sick. Like this is why I came. And then I was like, just thinking, all right, yo. Okay, so boom, I see my chance. He's talking to somebody, but I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> I'm gonna just like, I'm gonna just slide. And so boom, I see my opening. I go up to him. I'm a little faded at this point, and I think the first words that come out about come out of my mouth are, "Yo, your shit's crazy, dog." Literally, I was watching your warehouse vlog like three days ago with my homie, because I'm trying to set up my warehouse, and we we ran that shit back like three times just watching it. And I really admire all the shit that you are doing right now. And he's like, he's like, "Oh my god!" And then he's like, face and he's just like, "Oh my god, bro!" Like that's so dope. And then he's like, "So like, what do you do?" Blah blah blah. He's like. He's like, that's dope, you got a warehouse. I wasn't even trying to talk about me at that point because I was just trying to be like, fuck, bro, let's get a picture right now, bro. Like, So I think I said, I was like, dude, I make jewelry and then I had all the kinds of chains on and I just show him it and he holds it and he's like, he's like, this is you? And I, was, I was like, yeah. And I was trying to talk about something else and he's just like, no, nah, bro. He's like, that shit is fucking lit. Like, good luck with that. And then I kind of was like, I kind of got ahead of myself. I was like, yeah, bro, we, I think I brought up Icebox. I was like, yeah, bro, we just dropped some t-shirts. Like, do you know Icebox? And then he's like, yeah. And I was like, yo, fuck Icebox. Like I literally just, I'm like, fuck Icebox. So like, we just dropped these tees, bro. And I think honestly, I was trying to like flex the numbers to him. Yeah. Just and, and that wasn't like the right move or whatever, to be honest. Cause like out of all the things I could have talked about, I fucking, it's like, yo, look at these t-shirts we dropped. You know what I'm saying? And then I showed him it and he's just like, he, he laughed. So I was like, dude, we just hit a hundred K, blah, blah, blah. Like we ain't shit yet though. It's just cool to be like, that you're here, I was like, what the fuck, bro? And um, and it was just like a surreal moment, bro. Like, homie, homie is wearing his Birkenstocks, dude. Like, this really is just like a fan fucking video right now. Like, I swear. I mean, we ended up talking for like a few minutes. Um, I didn't ask him to follow our page or anything or any of that, because when people do that to me, I have no issue. But I mean, I just don't know about him. Like, I'm. I'm just not trying to be that person or whatever. I should have gave him some jewelry, but I mean, fuck it. Hopefully the next Cole Bennett video is fucking us actually talking with Cole, like on video or something. Who knows? You know what I mean? But, and yo, that's my video of me meeting Cole Bennett. Shit was crazy. <laughs> Let's see that hat, bro. That hat's not for you, bro. I know. You're wearing my shit, bro. It's gonna get me bad. This was the, this was the shit I bought in Cole Bennett. Shout out Cole. I bought this for um, the homie Dylan, actually. Dylan Girls, bro. Homie wears hats like this, whatever. And all of this is important because Cole is a huge inspiration to me. How he operates his company, how he operates as like a, a leader, as like a influencer. And I don't mean influencer as in like, he's got 
power, but know like what he uses his power for and shit, like what he decides to do with his time and like money and all that. I'm just happy to be a part of this shit with somebody like that, you know what I mean? Even though we're very distant, I feel like our culture and our worlds kind of collide in a way. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, it was just a quick little experience I wanted to vibe with you guys on, and we're gonna be dropping hella more YouTube videos. We're setting up the warehouse right now. This shit is very incomplete. You should like pan around. We just got everything everywhere, man. Like, and, and you're not even seeing the most of it. You're just seeing what fucking we're letting you see right now with that little 360. We do want to do like a little before and after video with the warehouse of uh, what it is right now and what it is in like a week when we get all of our new furniture and artwork and shit and put it up, you know what I'm saying? This, we're working with a small spot right now, but we're going to try and make it work the best way we can. All that stuff. And I appreciate you guys watching this. And that's it. Peace out, guys. Fuck Icebox. Like, I literally just, I'm like, fuck Icebox.